So I wanted to talk this evening about Yoga Nidra for sleep, um, but I want to talk about it through the lens of some of the Kashmir Shaivist um, practices, which is part of where Yoga Nidra comes from, especially the philosophy of it, the non-dual yoga philosophy. And um, some of the practices looked at inquiring with the spaces between and I thought oh no it's gonna get the Dave Matthews song <laughs> anyways <laughs> um is that what it's called space between or something um so one of the things I wanted to say about that is the practice when we look at the spaces between or the liminal spaces. So um, with yoga nidra, that would mean going from waking consciousness to sleeping consciousness and kind of back in and out of those. And as we do the practice, part of that is being present to the spaces between. So being present when we're coming out of sleep and being present when we're going, the body is going into sleep so much so that one could feel the body falling asleep inside this larger spacious awareness. Why do this? Well, I don't exactly know what ramifications there are, but I know it's really powerful if we're able to um, maintain aware consciousness as we're moving from state to state, but in particular, really looking at the in-between there. So not just um, being able to maintain awareness as we go from task to task, but maintaining awareness in that in-between place too. So it's possible liminal space, but the space where um, one of the other practices in Kashmir Shaivism is to look at um, when you exhale all the way out and then you kind of allow the exhale to dissolve and you're not in the doing mode, and then you allow the inhale to come in. And right there in that space, when you've exhaled and the, the breath has dissolved, if you're not in the doer breather mode, you can feel that kind of in-between conscious breathing space. And so same on the inhale, you inhale, and then in a sense, when the breath dissolves and there's a heart space breathing practice we'll do. So inhaling to the heart, allowing attention, breath to dissolve, and then exhaling to kind of 12 inches in front of your nose or nostrils. And then inhaling to the heart and then exhaling. But the, the point of the practice is to inquire with the in-between spaces and to be present to that because that's where the part of us that is the strong doer that I kind of can dissolve along with the breath. And so if we're able to rest more as this awareness in these in-between spaces, it, it changes us in our day-to-day -day life, including in, in movement, you know, and we're just reaching for a pillow, <laughs> you know, um, that there are these, um, there are so many moments where there, there's an opportunity to inquire with this dissolution. And um, it can feel like a philosophy, but really the exploration is with the felt sense of the breath coming and going and the felt sense of the body waking up and going to sleep. And the neat thing is once you start practicing it more and more, especially through yoga nidra, consciousness is able to kind of our aware consciousness is able to um, hang out longer as we're descending into states of sleep and then you know be walked back as we're you know ascending into kind of waking life and so right at those moments when there's that kind of the veil is thin and we haven't totally constituted into this I me sense of self that is an opportunity to have a body memory of what it's like not to be fused with our ego or um, the thought of self. And 
so in in some of the texts, the Vignana Bhairav and and others, there is this invitation to and this has been like thousands of years ago, you know, where there's this invitation to explore the arising and fading away of the breath and the body moving states of consciousness and exploring the awareness that's there no matter the state of consciousness. So that's also why we explore emotions and thoughts and um, body sensations and everything that's coming and going in our awareness in yoga nidra, because we're trying to make more of a connection with that um, embodied conscious awareness that's not separate from the stuff it's noticing, but that there's that unbroken kind of a, a sense rather than these kind of snapshots moment to moment that our our I thought just grabs onto and says is mine. So I think that this also has impact on our sleep because when we're able to slow down enough to actually feel the spaces between, something does happen to our nervous system where there's a deeper form of relaxation and a deeper form of embodied knowing that can allow sleep to be more healthy for us or you know to get better quality or quantity of sleep and i'm saying that from my own experience i also know that uh, andrew huberman does study yoga nidra in his lab at stanford um i think in regards to learning memory and other things so i don't know that it's necessarily related to sleep i would love to see <laughs> some data on that because i think it's really powerful and so you can use the practice for sleep very intentionally and specifically. And so this is what I've been doing where I'm practicing yoga nidra right before sleep and it's changing my sleep because I'm able to track my sleep with this aura ring that I have. And I've noticed that um, there's, there's an impact on my nervous system that's different from when I do yoga nidra at other parts of the day. So it might kind of calm me down or chill me out another part of the day. But if I do it right before sleep, it's incredibly effective at getting me to sleep. And then also I get better sleep. And I, I really think, I know a lot of people use yoga nidra for sleep. So I'm sure that that must be true for a lot of people. And, um, and so I wanted to focus on the sleep piece and the rest piece and the in-between, the spaces between tonight and just really... Uh, let ourselves kind of explore what that is. And this is always a firsthand exploration. It's, yeah, there's philosophy behind it, but that philosophy comes from an embodied exploration where someone got to know something in their body that was different that they had ever learned and then shared it with someone else. It's like how we share knowledge and information. And so each of our own experience will be different regarding that. There's one thing about the practice, though, if in the exploration of the spaces between any anxiety comes up or it, then I would suggest that you kind of let go of trying to explore that part. And unless you have the kind of practice that you feel like you'd want to lean into that as you're as you're practicing meditation, which if you know, if so, go for it, <laughs> um, because what what can happen is you know, the fear of letting go comes up when you're in a truly in-between place. And so if you'd like to meet and encounter that, then absolutely during the practice, please do. Um, but if that's something that's uncomfortable for you, then just return to following your breath in and out or doing your own practice. So we're not all in the in the in a physical room together. Um, that seems like a good safe container to say, hey, just do your own thing, you know, if if it doesn't feel right to you. And so we're going to do the heart space breathing practice. And this is just going to be a yoga nidra for sleep. So the invitation is to fall asleep. <laughs> and you can you can follow along. And if you do, and watch everybody's going to stay awake this time, but um, if you do fall asleep, can you, can you track that? So kind of feel that in between liminal space as the body's kind of going under and then coming back up and just notice how that is to, to be you 
as that is occurring. Um, all right. Are there any questions before we go for it? No. Okay. Great. Yeah. So feel free to, um, you can have your video on or off and, and get comfortable. So just in a place that you feel that you actually could fall asleep. And if nobody comes back afterwards, I'll know I've done my job. <laughs> I appreciate that you each are here. And yeah, so just find yourself getting more and more comfortable. And feel the letting go of kind of the day as it's come before you in this moment. So then you, you know, as you're settling in, any images or memories just from today or residual feeling tones. Welcoming them to be here and then stepping kind of firmly into this moment, this new moment. And have a protected space for your own meditation practice. So get a little more comfortable. That could be your shoulder blades drawing down your spine. You may want to have your feet hip width distance apart and a bolster underneath your knees, pillow underneath your head, a blanket if you need, your hands and arms rested to your side or on your chest and belly, whatever feels comfortable. And we'll begin just by feeling the breath coming and going. And so this is without needing to change anything about the breath. So you just notice the breath coming and going. Can you feel those natural spaces between the exhale ending and the next inhale? Maybe inviting or checking in to see if there's a quality of spaciousness or in that tradition, there's a shimmering or radiance, a vibratory aliveness associated with your presence. We'll also be rotating attention through the body and doing the normal yoga nidra practice. So let's begin by opening the senses. Perhaps you'll discover they're already open or perhaps you'll find they're tense or contracted. The sense of sound feeling your body as a receptivity to sound, the sound of my voice, the sound of your own breathing. The sense of sight. So even if your eyes are closed, Noticing if there's any grasping or holding behind the eyes. If so, can you allow the tension to kind of release or you're inviting a sense of more spaciousness behind your eyes, around your eyes? 
the way to do this is to sense the muscles that are tight. And as you sense them, they may just kind of spontaneously release. No sense of touch. So feeling a surface that supports you and your body as you lean into it. Not underestimating the power of just this beginning meditation practice of opening the senses. Taste. Smell. Feeling all of the senses open simultaneously. Can you tell how this sort of releases a, a grasping or a holding in your body as you allow the senses to be open? Connecting with the breath as it comes and goes, just a gentle, smooth breathing, belly rising, falling. As you breathe in and out now, feel the entire backside of your body. So where you're connected to the couch or the floor or the bed, surface you're resting on. If you can bring a subtle, gentle attention to feeling of the entire backside of your body. You may have an image of your body, it's natural. And then let the image dissolve. You're just feeling the felt sense as you breathe in and out, long exhalations, whole backside of your body. You can extend the exhalation as far as feels comfortable. Releasing any tension, even as you're here, feeling the whole backside of your body and breathing. Notice if there are any other places that you're holding tension that are very obvious to you right now, like your cheeks or your neck, belly. Welcoming your whole body into awareness, inviting in this feeling of release of heaviness. Setting an intention for this practice. So perhaps that's too fall asleep, perhaps it's to explore the in-between spaces. You might find it happening naturally already. If you can, uh, tune in to a feeling of comfort in your body. And if you have connection with a sense of ease, comfort, support. And tune in to what the felt sense of comfort feels like. As you breathe, feeling the whole backside of your body. So begin with a body scan, start in the jaw and end in the feet. We're inviting the body fully into 
our awareness. So as I name a body part, simply notice what you feel as sensation, as absence of sensation. The invitation is to sense the subtle feeling. And sometimes we have to sense tension first. So beginning in the jaw, just notice if there's any holding from your day, from any stress or talking, thinking. So sensing your jaw, you may move your jaw around and let go of any muscles that are holding it tight. So relaxing the jaw, mouth, so sensing your tongue, jaw, ears, your left ear and your right ear. As we do the practice, you'll likely visualize left ear, right ear. Then the invitation is to let go of the image and sense both ears simultaneously. It may be like a spaciousness, a vibratory aliveness, nothing, whatever's here is perfectly fine. We're just attuning to the body. Can you slow down enough in the inquiry as you move from sensing the ears, feel that in between as attention now focuses on your nose and the breath coming and going. Your eyes are feeling the movement of attention to your left eye, right eye, noticing any grasping left over from the day. And then both eyes simultaneously. Deep relaxation. And as you allow the sensation of both eyes to be felt, can you feel kind of a feeling in a way it's like a dissolving? So you breathe in and out, dissolving into spaciousness, empty, open, alive. Sensing now your whole head and face at once. So when we're sensing something globally like our head, we have to relax the eyes and then allow attention to come to the back of the neck and shoulders and breathe in and out, sensing the back of your neck. As you breathe in and out, you may naturally start to sense the space as the out-breath dissolves before the in-breath comes. And as the in-breath dissolves before the out-breath comes. You feel a gentleness then in the rhythm of the breathing. As attention moves to both shoulders. And sense your whole left arm and hand. As you breathe in and out. The 
and your whole right arm and hand. Breath coming and going. Let go of thinking, simply feel and sense both arms, both hands at the same time. Following your breath in, following your breath out. A welcoming sensation in the torso. Here we'll do the heart space breathing. So take an inhale into the heart center and then exhale, allowing breath to come out your nostrils to about 12 inches in front of you. Inhaling back into the heart. Exhaling out into space, about 12 inches in front of your nostrils. Inhaling to the heart. Exhaling space. So as you follow the breath in and out with this heart space breathing, At the end of your next exhalation, can you feel as the breath dissolves into space before that next moment of inhale? So it might just be a brief moment and following the inhale back to the heart. Again, on the next exhalation, as the breath dissolves into space, feeling the space between, and then how the in-breath just naturally appears, comes all the way into the heart center, and then back out. So there's no correct way to do this, simply doing the practice as it feels right to you. We'll do the same with the inhale. So as you inhale to the heart, Allow the inhale to dissolve completely into the space of you. And then let the exhale happen naturally. Exhaling out through the nose to 12 inches in front of you. Exploring the space and then inhaling. So do this at your own pace heart space breathing, picturing your breath coming in from 12 inches away through your nose to the heart center, dissolving, and then the exhale naturally expelling to about 12 inches in front of you, exploring the space as that dissolves. You may find as you breathe in and out that the, the space between the in-breath and the out-breath lengthens a little bit or you're more in touch with that in-between as an unbroken breathing space. So if this doesn't resonate, feel free to do another practice of breath sensing. But if it does, can you bring attention to the flow of the breath in and out? Noticing as the breath dissolves, a feeling of letting go. feeling perhaps of vibratory aliveness, radiance, deep stillness underneath the breath. 
deep stillness. It's as if the breath sits on top of this stillness. Even more subtle. Welcoming whatever's in your experience as you do this heart space breathing exercise. And we'll do one more round. And on your next exhale, feeling now the space around the entire body, feeling the whole backside of your body and the support, the comfort, and also that deep stillness, deep spaciousness. This is a moment to sense the holding environment of the space around you. Of the people practicing together, just feeling the quality of holding. So we carry on with the body scan, sensing your whole left leg and left foot. So you breathe in and out, notice how your breath may have changed and it's more subtle and attuned. Now sensing your whole right leg and right foot. Now let go of thinking or visualizing and with an exhale, sense both legs, both feet at the same time. Maybe feeling heavy, relaxed. Both legs, both feet. Bringing attention now to the whole body, 360, global body sensation, resting here. You may still naturally have the Practice of feeling more into the space between the in-breath and the out-breath on both sides. Or you may leave that practice behind and simply feel the rhythm of the breath coming and going, body being here. Global body sensation, perhaps a heaviness, relaxation, arms and legs, heavy and relaxed. Notice if the body begins to go into shift into deeper states towards sleep, inquire into that space to just you come back up into more wakefulness and when you go a little bit under into in between liminal space between waking and sleeping you explore your experience staying connected as the body 
shifts into different states. Letting go of needing to organize around a sense of self or your situation in life right now. There's this invitation to kind of let go. Allow yourself to be that spacious, just shifting into one state feeling that in between. So we've sensed the whole back side of the body. Now welcome the whole front side of the body into awareness. The Face, chest, belly, tops of legs and feet. Breathing in and out. Your attention absorbed in the whole front side of your body. It may be a different sensation than the back side. It may be light or spacious, airy. It may feel like a buoyancy. No agenda, just exploring body sensation, whole front side of the body. Riding the wave of the breath, the dissolving at each end of the breath. Sensing now the whole left side of the body and its own unique signature. Left arm, left leg, left side of the face and head, left shoulder, left side of your torso. It's as if you don't have a right side. Your attention is so completely absorbed in the left, left side of your body. There's first an image, and then the image is let go. You might be left with this kind of radiance of sensation, left side of the body. Following your breath in and out. We notice if the mind wants to know or understand or plan. Just acknowledge that and then come back to this very simple practice, left side of the body. Now let's feel the whole right side of the body, right arm and hand, shoulder, right leg and foot, right side of their torso, right side of your face and head. I feel how that has its own unique signature, the whole right side, aliveness. Attention is absorbed as the breath comes and goes, sensing just the right side of the body.
And here too, can you sense underneath that stillness, underneath the breath that the breath dissolves into and arises out of? No agenda, no need to be someone, do something, learn something, just being, breathing, feeling. Now the whole body again simultaneously, both sides, and then the front side and the back, crown of the head and soles of the feet. What's it like to rest in this full body awareness practice as you feel the gentle breath coming and going, the stillness underneath, in touch with any of the spaces between that are present for you. Is there any place you could let go more, let go of controlling, managing, simply breathe and feel? What's it like to rest? It's very simply, without agenda. What comes up, just noticing what comes up for you. And if there's something else entirely present in this moment, just allowing that as well. So an emotion or a thought or situation, something, image. Practice doesn't refuse anything. So we're welcoming the wholeness of what's here. Even as you welcome any content of consciousness that's present, continue to feel that space between the in-breath, the out-breath, so the space between sort of waking and sleeping. Notice how it acts on your body, your mind. Notice if there's any kind of core holding or tension that may have an invitation to be released. 
right in those in-between spaces. Notice what's happening in, in your mind and forehead, and behind your eyes, if there's any thinking. Just welcome that to be here. And just with kind, loving attention, allow the sensation to be the focus, the sensation of your whole body. Maybe that's the whole front, back, both sides. Maybe that's the sensation of your breath coming and going. What's it like to, in a way, be, be nobody in a good way? Just have a, a relief from the chatter of the mind. Can you feel how, as you explore the space between, you actually are inviting more embodiment into your body, your mind, your senses. You're not disconnecting from the body. You're actually kind of filling it out. Radiant, spacious, aliveness. It could feel like emptiness, whatever your word is for it, stillness. So this takes patience to slow down, to be with the, the in-between moments. Do you picture yourself kind of carrying this feeling sensation into sleep? This liminal feeling just straight into sleep. Maybe even picturing yourself sleeping deeply and soundly. of letting the cares and worries stay behind and feeling this deeply embodied felt sense. No, it's been called emptiness dancing for one phrase. You can find your own phrase for whatever it is that you're experiencing in this moment. There's no need to try to understand or make sense of, it's just a resting, resting in the body, in this knowing, perception that's here. Can you feel how as you do this, there's this background feeling of perhaps like a, like holding or, or safety or security, this kind of basic holding. It might even feel like a joy in the heart smile might come to your face.
taking refuge and joy in this, if it's here, just allowing your body to feel that, the pleasure of, of safety and a holding environment and considering we're all here practicing together. part of that environment. This invitation is to remain in touch with this background kind of or integrated underneath stillness feeling. Remaining in touch with that. Just kind of unbroken, aware consciousness. Of Just for the sake of truth, for the sake of love and joy, not for reaching a goal. Just checking in before we close, is there anything, ask, ask yourself inwardly, is there anything that wants to be acknowledged in this moment? Is there anything that feels important that wants to be known or seen or understood? Just give yourself some space and time as you drop that question in. There may be nothing that comes, maybe something. But if there is a flavor of kindness here, kindness toward yourself, can you have let that be illuminated and consider that as just an integral part of this practice. So we'll just kind of gently begin to close the practice and you may not want to move, you may Begin to open and close the fists and stretch your feet. So follow the wisdom of your body as, as we come out of the practice. You could remain right where you are. Um, your knees could come in towards your chest and then kind of rolling off to the side. Staying in touch with the kindness, the stillness. And just as it feels right, um, if it feels right, feel free to return to kind of a sitting position. Um, and if anyone needs to just drift into the evening, feel free to do so as well. And we'll have a little time for some um, Q&A after Pranab stops the recording here. So just taking our time. <laughs> 